Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. 
feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. 
I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. A map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. What the? 
Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For real? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Man, I should have done that before they fell. Chloe's stepfather... Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? Chloe's stepdad is head of secure... Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. 
You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you were a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? Absolutely, Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, This is going three. nowhere fast. Shit. I better look someplace else. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Uh... Yeah, my pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. 
You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Got you. 